the family. God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you. We've now come to the end of this farewell service. We'll now proceed to the graveside and I'll just give a brief of the exit protocol. We'll start with the pallbearers coming in and wheeling out the late general, followed by the clergy, the family, His Excellency the President, the generals who are going to be part of what's happening by the graveside, and those who have been briefed to proceed, which includes immediate family. So kindly, just a reminder, we have very limited space, so let's honor that request. Again, the exit is the pallbearers as they wheel out the late general, will be followed by the clergy, the immediate family, his Excellency the President and the Executive, followed by the Generals. Thank you. Let's be upstanding, please. Let us be all upstanding. We'll start with the national anthem before we wheel the late general out. So, the national anthem. We'll have the clergy follow the casket, then followed by the immediate family, together with His Excellency the President, the First Lady, the Deputy President, the Prime Cabinet Secretary, the Speaker of the National Assembly, and all who had received a brief to proceed to the burial site for the final rites of the late General Francis Ogola.
was guided by my colleague, the body of the general exits, followed by the clergy, the family, and His Excellency, the President, and the other dignitaries. As we proceed with the exit, allow me to announce that the visiting military generals are requested to go behind this podium. We have prepared lunch for you. The general. We have prepared lunch for the following. The visiting generals from other foreign countries. We have prepared lunch for you just behind this podium. We also prepare the same lunch for the CSS that may be remain behind, the PSS that may remain behind, the military generals that may remain behind, other dignitaries, including the MPs, we have prepared a lunch for you just behind this podium. Other senior government leaders, the RC, the CC, are invited. Any other dignitaries present, we welcome you for lunch just behind this tent. As we allow the body of the late general to be taken home, has led the country and indeed the, the family in uh, marking the final honors for General uh, Francis Ogola, who died on Thursday. Well, from here, as you've seen, the military has marched with the body. They are headed to Moor Village, which is a few kilometers from where we are, for a private family ceremony to inter the remains of the general. And uh, something else that will be happening is that we'll be having a one-minute silence and also 19-gun salute, bearing in mind that the general did die in office and has been a decorated general for the last uh, two year, one year or so since he was uh, appointed as the general or as the CDF or the chief, uh, chief of defense forces. Uh, glowing tributes. You've listened to some of the speeches right here by the head of state but one key thing that the head of state has mentioned is that he will leave no stone unturned to ensure that uh, the circumstances surrounding the accident that only not, not only killed the general but nine other senior military officials is actually um, uh, we know exactly what happened. You leave no stone unturned to ensure we get behind what exactly transpired at Kaben when the chopper that were carrying the, um, the soldiers uh, fell from the sky, crashing and killing the general together with his nine, with his nine colleagues. And uh, as you've heard from the family, indeed, they have talked about uh, now, even how people are, are responding to this. Let's wait for all the agencies that has been tasked to know exactly what transpired and avoid what we have seen in the social media in the last couple of days. Um, from here, uh, we are also, we are not able to go there, but our colleague is on standby in more, more village where we are expecting the fam the closed family um, family a family uh, a ceremony that which will be the last one and remember the general had said that he would want to be buried without a casket that is just to explain it to exacerbate how the general and how simple his life was from the tribunes including the head of state say that even if he had an op another opportunity if he had another opportunity he would indeed still 
want to work with General Gola just to paint a picture of a man who was not only diligent and gallant as it worked is somebody who knew exactly what he was doing and the locals here have also eulogized him as one of the gallant and um, one of their own a simple general who always wanted to help this, the church that he initiated and the help complete that is in, in Kaben has also already uh, the, 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 here in um, in uh, apologies here in uh, in, uh, in Nia has also been consecrated by the ACK church and other than that we will also be expecting the government to honor what the head of state and the military have said that they indeed will want to ensure that all the projects that were started by the good general have been completed and mentorship for the young for the young people is something that has come very strongly and even the daughter of the president Charlene Ruto has said that indeed this is one man who has shaped her life in everything that she has been able to do since she met her and the young men and women here have also enjoyed some of the things that General Ogola did including projects right here in, uh, in Nia and uh, of course so we will be keeping tabs to know exactly what transpires in the other as you can see the body has, is now being marched and uh, people just want to have their last to pay their last respect i can tell you for a fact that thousands of people were behind just outside behind the tent just want to see a, the last a glass a last glance of the last uh, of the general who came from here and remember it has been said noted that uh, this is the, was the first general actually to hail from uh, from uh, this this region and to head the cds but uh, all said and done we are expecting that uh, the private uh, the ceremony back there will have at least pictures to show you the last journey of the fallen general but uh, from here in uh, uh, senator obama ogelo primary school we now head to Ma, exactly where he's being buried. Over to you on the other side of the studio.